All right, Dave here with another exciting tutorial. And today I'm in ZBrush. I'm gonna be talking about how to render out a turntable really easily. So I'm just gonna start here in Lightbox and I can grab any of these, or if you have your own project, you can grab that as well. I'm gonna grab this ZBrush statue here. So if I double click on it, okay, cool. This is kind of a neat statue. Um, now, the what I'm referring to is in the movie tab right here, and you can see that there's turntable. And I'm just gonna maybe dock this movie thing over here. So if I go here, I can just double click on that icon and then I go here drag this over here now if I hit turntable you can see that it automatically spins it and then when I'm done I can hit play movie okay now maybe not what you expected because it shows the whole you know kind of ZBrush interface all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna hit delete right here and no I don't want to save that now let's do this I'm gonna do turntable again except this time Instead of the entire window, which was recording the entire thing, I'm just gonna choose document. And now I'm gonna do turntable. I can see it automatically does it again. And now if I hit play, hey, there it is. And you might say, well, Dave, that's too good to be true. And I can see that it's got the cheesy, you know, logos on there, fades in, fades out, kind of slow. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one. I can get rid of the overlays. So if I go to overlay image, I'm just gonna put opacity to zero. And the title image, I'm gonna say, I don't want it to fade in or fade out, okay? Now you could change that. If you click on this, you could import your own or whatever, but I'm just gonna get rid of it. Same with this one here. I could also import my own. Um, now watch this. Now if I hit turntable, okay, and if I hit play, I can see that now it does not have anything, um, you know, essentially that I don't want on there. It's just kind of clean. So if I hit, you might say, well, why am I deleting it every time? Because if I do another turntable, it's going to add to the other one. So now if I hit play, it's going to do two spins before it finishes. Okay, cool. Um, now, if I don't want to do that, I could hit delete. And then you can see that it's set to medium here. So if I go to large, let's see what happens. Now, if I do turntable again, let's see. And if I go to play movie, now I can see that it's nice and large. Okay, cool. Um, maybe I'll delete that one as well. Let's say if I want it to be um, slower or faster. Well, if I go to modifiers here, um, here's my playback frames per second. Okay. Um, here's my spin frames. So 180 uh, spin frames. So I can see that it's, um, I can also go here to timeline. Uh, hold on here. No, I'm going to go to modifiers. And I'm going to say this, um, spin frames per cycle. I'm going to do, um, let's try 360. And now I'm going to go turntable. And now I can see that it's a lot slower. Okay. I think I'll put it back at 180. You know, when I'm ready to go. And I'll go ahead and play movie now. And now I can see that it's slower. And I could play with that spin frame. Okay, I'm just gonna go out again, delete it. Now, well actually before I delete it, if I hit play, you can see that this is the size of my video right now. And I don't want it that size. Maybe I want it like a 16 by nine aspect ratio. So I'll just go ahead and delete this one. So if I want to change the size, I'm going to go up here to document, and then I'm going to come down here, and this is where I can change the size. Now this big pro is constraining proportions. So I'm going to turn that off, and then I'm going to type in like 1920 by 1080. And then I'm going to hit resize. And I'm going to hit yes. And it's going to look weird. I'm going to hit control N to clear the canvas. 
and then I'm going to go ahead and drag it on again and hit edit. Then I'm going to press shift to get it straight, get it aligned, and you might say, well, it looks the same. Well, that's why I'm going to zoom out right here. I'm going to zoom out, and now I can actually kind of see my full canvas, and now I can kind of get this closer, and I can um, go ahead and do a turntable again. So if I do turntable, th this one might be really large. Uh, maybe I'll Maybe I'll just set it to medium here. Turntable. And I forgot we have it at 360 spin. So if you wanted to stop it, I could just press escape and it would stop immediately. Okay. So I'm going to put this back to 180. Um, I'll leave that at medium. I'll just delete that current video. And I'll do turntable. Now if I hit play, I can see there it is at my 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And let me delete that. And let, let me just go large. Let's see how large that is, turntable. And I love this, how fast things are in ZBrush, where you can just try it and just kind of see what's happening really quickly. OK, now if I hit Play Movie, there. Now it's nice, full screen, really nice. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. Um, and, you know, we could kind of play with the timing of that. So now, now that I have a turntable done, if I hit this, BPR, this is best preview render, if I click on this, I can see that this has, it looks like some nice lighting set up and some nice everything. And if I hit turntable, if I move this and hit turntable, you can see that it's not, it doesn't calculate that lighting, okay? Well, why not? Well, it can, I'll just go ahead and delete that. If I hit BPR, and as long as I don't move it now, and if now if I hit turntable, now it's going to render this with all of that lighting in place. So you could do lighting in ZBrush. Um, you kind of play with that. Maybe I'll do a, a, another video on that at some point. But I feel like if you did set up your lighting in ZBrush, um, you could set up you know some cool materials, some lighting, and then you kind of do a nice turntable with it. I, you can see that when it's calculating all the shadows, it does take a little bit longer. And I can hit Escape because I'm not going to wait that whole time there. But I can also see here this is anti-aliasing. So this is kind of the edge of the render. It'll get kind of cleaner if you put that up higher. But realize we're not looking at this at real size. If I want to see real size, I could go here to actual. And now that is actual size. So now if I render this out, I'm rendering at actual size and I can see that the edge looks pretty clean. If I wanted to zoom in, I can see that mm, maybe the anti-aliasing isn't that crisp. Now, of course, I'm zooming in on a, you know, uh, a raster image. So eventually I'm going to get that, you know, that um, artifacting. So if I go actual size, this is what I have to base it off of. If that looks ac acceptable, then I'm in good shape. If not, I could increase the anti-aliasing, do another render, um, and do the turntable, and then I could be all set. Or if you wanted to just do a faster turntable, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. A faster turntable, the fastest way is just doing it here without the BPR, you know, lighting and stuff. So let's say I like this 180 frames. I'll just delete the old one. Um, the document, which is just going to be this, large size, turntable. Um, I'll go ahead and do this again. So if I do turntable. I'll let this go. Again, if I had all my pretty lighting and stuff, we know that we could do that if we wanted to. And now I can say uh, export. And if I export this, I can see that I'm exporting it as a movie. So I'm going to say ZBrush movie. I'll just say desktop. OK. And if I come here, let's take a look at this. 
ZBrush Movie. And if I double click, okay, it's saying that it isn't playable because it's kind of a weird format. Okay, so I'm just going to hit Escape. Whoop. So if we look at this, if I right click and go to Properties, I can see that it's an MPG file. So let's see what other options I have. So I can say, um, um, save ZBrush movie if I go to save as okay now if I save it like this this is a ZTM I'll just go ahead and um, I'm gonna call this ZBrush movie edit because that's really what it is it's basically saving all my movie settings in ZBrush um, again if I hit export movie I can see here I really don't have much of a choice so if I wanted to change that, I suppose what I could do is open up Media Encoder. So I'm going to go to Adobe Media Encoder, and then I'm going to put that in there, and then I can convert it to whatever I want. So here's Adobe Media Encoder, and I'm going to go ahead and drop in my video. So one second here. Here's my ZBrush movie. I'm going to just drop it in here. And now I can see that it's going to convert it to MP4. And now if I just hit play, start, um, it converted it to an MP4 just that quickly. And if I right click, if I go to properties, aha, that's MP4. Now I have it on there and I can upload it to ArtStation. I can do whatever I want. So hopefully that was helpful just kind of looking at turntables in ZBrush. Make sure to like and subscribe for new videos every week.